Hey everybody, going to be tackling some Star Trek Attack Wing Tuesday here. And I figured I'm going to start by taking a look at painting the Voyager Deep Cuts Prime to Minis. So, got it in the package here. I think I've done an unboxing of this here. What we can do is take a good look here at the Voyager. I uh, see what we need to do to get it painted up. So the first thing I notice is there's definitely still some mold lines here. So let me grab my file. And they're mainly here along the nacelles. This is a very soft material. So not taking a lot to get the get the mold lines off. Even the front of these nacelles is going to be a little tricky. So back the nacelles. Yeah, right there. That's really bad. Inside of the nacelle there. So they're not quite ready to paint, apparently. Yeah, same on this side. I guess nice mold lines here. And also we've got a sprue connection point right there too. So it's not flat. And we get, we get the inside of the nacelles. cells. Got some right here along the side of the body. Mm -hmm. Big fan of these mold lines. You figured if we was to bother trouble priming them, we could have at least cleaned the mold lines. At least file well, so it looks like it is a pretty hard plastic here. And then some edges in the cell here. Two men on this side. Just mainly right here on this side. Cats making noise in the background. Okay. Not perfect, but it's a lot better. So these things aren't quite ready to paint. A little bit of molding cleanup, not too much. Oops. Here. It looks a little funny here because you got the right, primer has been scraped off or filed off. So, but yeah, other than that, it's not too bad. Just a second here. Now it does come with some nice decals. It comes with three sets of uh, numbers and names for the Belferon, which is of course one of the ships, that, one of the Intrepid class ships that comes with it. It comes in the game. The Voyager and the base ship USS Intrepid. It's got these nice, the Federation decals for the nacelles. Um, it also has alternative universe, uh, Terran Empire symbols, and of course Borg stuff. We're just going to use the Voyager and the Nacelle decals 
Something on the outside. I don't know. I'll have to double check the actual model here. Not too much on the decals. But that's pretty much it. I'm not going to bother repriming it. There's not enough. I didn't take enough off to really bother. Everything else looks pretty good. So the base color of this, the same color I used on my Enterprise D, or my cousin's Enterprise D, um, six years ago, five years ago, whenever it was I repainted that. And it's going to be Vallejo model color medium sea gray. So next I have to figure out how I'm going to hold this thing while I paint it. Because of course the peg is not installed. So you can um, put that in later. I think what we do is just drill a hole and use a paper clip right through the bottom where the where the mounting peg goes. And we'll just give it a base coat with the seafoam gray. Medium sea gray. After a lot of mixing because this hasn't been used in several years. So I'll go ahead and be right back and um, I'll get out the tools for this. Okay. So then we're just going to put a little hole here. I don't like the material this is made out of. It's gonna be like cheap, soft stuff. You know, it's pretty, pretty decent. Hard plastic. Okay, perfect. So, whoops. So, drop the super glue in on the paper clip. Of course, we are gonna have to cut all the super glue out of the peg hole when we're done. But that's relatively minor. I'll deal with that. So we'll see how that goes because you have to super glue that in. Um, and for that, this is what I use. This is a um, Super Glue Plus from I can't remember the name of the Super Glue company. I know it says Hobby Town, but it's made by uh, Bob Smith Industries. That's it, BSI Bob Smith Industries. Generic super glue um, can be branded with any any place you buy it, but this is made by Bob Smith Industries. And the Super Gold, Gold Plus is 100% foam safe and is also clear plastic safe. So you can actually glue on canopies with this. It does not fog them up. This is absolutely amazing uh, super glue, but it's also like $9 for this bottle too. So you get what you pay for though in this for sure. I'm going to let that set up a little bit more. I'm just going to be base coating it in this video here. with the medium sea gray and then in the future we're going to go ahead and um, shade and highlight and then we'll pick out all the details with various colors thing almost more of an overbrush than an actual base coat because we don't want to obscure any details. The details are very fine so we have to be very careful when brushing on a base coat. So I said I would consider it more of a, as much of an overbrush as anything. And it's almost the same color as the primer. It's a little bit darker. I got way too much. And if you're wondering about why the ships appear blue, more blue in the show, um, the real reason for that is, of course, from the studio lights the models were, were uh, filmed with, is where the blue comes from. But if you look at the actual models, they are much more gray. At least in my research, which is why I picked this color in the first place when doing the. Um, Enterprise D originally. So, this will be a real quick video this time. We're not going to do much. I said I'm just going to do this base coat. I'm going to let this thoroughly dry here. I might have to re glue that because it's loose now. And then, once the base coat is thoroughly dry, we'll move on to the next steps in the next video. So, 
real quick and easy video today just doing the base coats on the Voyager on the deep cuts um, Intrepid class so go ahead and subscribe for future upcoming parts I also have a scimitar which I'll be painting um, after this one's done if you have any questions let me know and thanks for watching